What you guys got another video here for you on how to improve your Wi-Fi speed with Wi-Fi 6 router. Now we're going to be taking a look at some Wi-Fi speeds here and also how you can uh, make your Wi-Fi better in your home and even your internet. You can see the Wi-Fi speeds in my home with the Virgin Media router is pretty poor and it's because it just can't penetrate the walls and it can't uh, utilize the Wi-Fi that I'm paying for. So Nighthawk AX12 router to the rescue. Here we've got a router, which is a pretty powerful router. It does support Wi-Fi 6. So the architecture on this one is the brand new AX architecture, which is the Wi-Fi 6. And it can support up to eight simultaneous Wi-Fi streams at any one time, which makes this a very powerful router indeed. It's got this unique design, which looks like a stealth bomber. It really does look cool. And uh, as you can see, it does come with a power adapter uh, and also an Ethernet cable and the actual router itself and your user manual and setup guide. That's about it. That's all you get in the kit. So let's take a look at the actual unit itself and go into some more detail. So this router is WPA3 certified, which makes it stronger Wi-Fi password protection for your Wi-Fi connections, which makes it really nice and secure if you're worried about people trying to uh, get into your Wi-Fi network. These little flaps here on the side do pull down. Let me just show you here. They just lift up and basically all you need to do is rise them up and they should shut. There we go. So we just lift these down and basically they can both flap down there. Obviously you want these up to get the best Wi-Fi experience possible uh, around your home. But if you are tucking it away somewhere and you don't want to use it, you can actually flap this down and package it up again. Very simple and easy to do. You've got the buttons on the top here and some ventilation. Uh, this does come with Smart Connect, which can intelligently select the fastest Wi-Fi band for every device on the network. So if you've got a device that supports AX, it will utilize that AX speeds and give you the fastest Wi-Fi band possible for that device. It's also backward compatible, which means it goes all the way back to A, B, G, N, and AC, as well as AX, which is what we've got here. So looking on the back of the device here, you can see we have an array of ports here and some uh, USB ports. So let's start off here. We've got your power port and your power button two USB 3.0 ports. You've got your multi gig uh, port here, which supports 5G, 2.5G, 1G. That's five times the speed of a standard gigabit port. We've got four more ports here as well and an internet WAN port. Two of those are going to be uh, optimized for aggregation, which means you can have the ability to aggregate two gigabyte LAN ports for faster file transfers. Now this also has eight high performance antennas which are hidden in the actual device itself. Now this new Wi-Fi 6 can support up to uh, six gigabytes per second which is pretty good. That's 1.2 plus 4.8 gigabytes per second with a 12 stream connectivity which is pretty impressive. Now the AX optimized quad core processor is a powerful 2.2 uh, gigahertz processor which boosts Wi-Fi and wired uh, WAN and LAN uh, performance, which is pretty good, as you'll see in a minute when I run some tests. The AX12 Nighthawk also supports 8x8 multi-user MIMO technology, which is a very nice indeed on a router. Now, let's take a look at how we can get this set up. So I've got it all plugged in. I'm just going to go onto the website here and go through the motions. You just have to click Next here, and it's do a search for Internet Connections. And once you've got that, it will ask you, do you want us to configure this uh, automatically for you? And it will find the best options for you. Or you can go in and manually set this up yourself. And uh, or you can use your save settings. I'm just going to let it do it automatically for me. You will need to set up an admin account here. Pretty straightforward stuff. So now we need to set up an account here. So I just need to put in a password and also a security password. Then I can update the uh, Netgear Nighthawk AX12. And once I've done all the updates, you can now see we have our menu system. We're on the basic mode at the moment, but you've got your wireless settings here. You can select whatever you like in here. Set all our uh, security up here, WPA free. You've also got some other features on here for Wi-Fi protection as well. Uh, attached devices. You've got your quality of service here and also your ready share, which is going to allow you to do ready cloud or ready share vault. That means you plug in your USB hard drive and you can then basically share all these files across the network. You've also got VPN client in here as well, which allows you to run your VPN client straight from the router settings here. If you want to run it all the time, you can set that up inside here, choose your country and away you go. Pretty useful if you use VPNs. 
But that is the basic settings here for the Nighthawk AX12. Let's do some testing in a second. So they're going to go ahead and run the speed test here right next to the router. And you can see the speeds are pretty good. But I'm going to go back downstairs and show you the speed test where I was having issues before. And it's always a dead spot in my home. So I want to show you the sort of speeds you can expect with this um, particular router on Wi-Fi if you want to boost your Wi-Fi connection around your home. So here we are in the same location. I'm just going to run that and look at those speeds on this AX12. It's absolutely awesome. It really is. And there is just no mesh network. It's just running from the router up in the back room of the house. And basically, it's picking up and giving me really super fast Wi-Fi speeds here. Very impressed with those. And you can see we are connected to the uh, Wi-Fi Netgear router instead of the uh, Virgin Media router. So you can see there is a massive difference between the two when it comes to Wi-Fi and wired performance. So if you're using the standard uh, router from your ISP, then it's pretty rubbish, to be honest, and you're going to need to look at upgrading that at some point to something decent. Or if maybe you have had a decent router in the past and it's now getting a bit dated and the Wi-Fi technology is not as good as it once was. By upgrading to the Netgear Nighthawk AX12, you're going to be getting some really super fast Wi-Fi speeds and also really good secure Wi-Fi and also super fast Internet speeds with this particular type of router. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. I'll leave all the information in the video description for you. I just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.